So in this video I'm going to show how you can splice film using a splicer and super glue. The glue that I'm using is Loctite Powerflex and in my test has been working really well. It's recommended that you use a warm splicer for this because if you just have the splicer at room temperature it takes a very long time for the splices to uh, become strong enough and it could take several minutes but with this you can have a splice done in about a minute and there's just 368 ohm resistors in parallel glued to the bottom of the splicer uh, where, the, where the glue is applied running off 12 volts and that uh, and that uh, makes it nice and warm so the glue cures faster so to make a splice all you do is get your film uh, so I want to splice a leader onto this film here uh, it hasn't got one so you simply place it in the splicer like this and then cut by bringing that down and then after you've made that cut you want to scrape it and that just makes it nice and rough for the glue to stick better uh, in some cases you'll find that the emulsion uh, faces up and you need to try and scrape the emulsion off but I've had a look at this film and for some reason the emulsion is facing the other way uh, and then for the leader that you want to splice onto it uh, you place that on the other side then you just bring that down and cut it like this and take that out again and then uh, if you end up with a situation where it's a motion side down you'd want to scrape that off um, but either way you want to uh, scrape it all off anyway so uh, this is some strange leader that I've got which has got a, actually got a coating on it and once you scrape it off it goes clear uh, I suppose some of you are probably not going to like that noise it's kind of like uh, nails on a blackboard uh, but there's not very many noises that get to me so sorry about that uh, so once you've uh, scraped all that off to a reasonable degree uh, it's now ready to glue so you'd simply place it back in the splicer on this side because that's going to get brought down on the glue and then uh, that piece of copper there is a copper spring which will push down on the splice once it's completed so you just want to close it and this whole section here moves so you can just bring the splice over but um, basically all it does is just pushes that just pushes down uh, on the splice so you can bring that over just to have it ready uh, and then apply your glue and you have to use uh, just want a thin layer on it like that spread it evenly and quickly bring the side down then leave that for a minute to cure and then <coughs> that would make a very very strong splice and I've tested the splices and they've been so strong that it's the film that breaks and not the splice This glue may not work on ester based films, but uh, these films they are usually an acetate base. Well, I think that's what they are anyway, but uh, it might not work on some materials. Uh, but at least in my test, it's worked really well. Uh, and then I'll have to go to the end of this film uh, because I'll need to put a sinking tail on it. So when I convert it, I've got a start and an end sink reference. And that's simply made by just scratching marks in the soundtrack. Uh, I've made a video about how I uh, convert films uh, and I'll go over that process in detail. Uh, so with that the splice uh, should be finished uh, just soon. Now 
Now, the way I tell that the splice is finished is there's not a smell that comes off it anymore because when you first make the splice, uh, there'll be a smell of glue rising from it. Um, but if you, I don't really recommend doing this, but um, that's the way I do it. I just go by smell. If it doesn't smell anymore, then it's done. Uh, and then you simply just lift this part up and remove the splice. In some cases, it'll stick to the upper section. And there we go. Uh, and in some cases, uh, glue may stick over just from the sides, but you just trim that off carefully. And then you have a nice strong splice, which works really well. You may want to, in some cases, just uh, very carefully take any excess out of the perforations as well, so it doesn't jump when it goes through the projector. But um, yeah, it's really a nice strong splice there.